we've got an unboxing and this is an optic sent out to the channel from Siley. Now I worked with Siley clear back when I first started doing YouTube. They sent out an optic that was made for an AR or a PCC. I was pretty impressed with it. I did a review on it and then after that I just never did anything with them again. Well we've been back in touch on Instagram. They've been watching some of my optic reviews on YouTube and they really wanted me to do a review on this optic and I'm super excited to get back working with Siley again. They've been putting out a lot of quality stuff here the last year. Been a lot of really good reviews on these. Uh, my buddy Matt from RTT Guns and Gears done some reviews with them. So has Big J from the Big Johnson Guns and Gear channel. Just super excited to uh, get this out of the box and take a look at it. All right, let's look at the outside of the box. So this is the top, one of the sides. On the back here, we got the Wolf X Pro red dot, which is what we're going to be working with. Same thing here, and then. This is the back, and on the bottom we just got a white box. The lid just lifts off of here, and as soon as we open it up, we have the owner's manual. We have a zeroing card. Um, we got a warning here, read before use, telling you what does what, turning it counterclockwise, clockwise. Got a lens cleaning cloth. And we got a sticker, which is super cool. Over here, we've got our screws, and it looks like they sent us quite a bit of screws here. So I'm seeing, looks like we've got at least four sets of screws, if not five. Nice touch right there. Can never have enough of these optic screws. Over here, we've got more screws. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, I'm, uh, I'm impressed here. We're looking at 10 different sets of screws here, so that's awesome. Shouldn't have, have any issues fitting that on anything. Got another bag here, got our Torx wrench, and then we got our flathead for our windage and elevation adjustments. And here we've got the optic. All right, the first thing here, we've got a really, really nice rubberized optic cover. Got the Siley Wolf right there on the side of it. And uh, let's get this off of here. It fits nice and tight, too. I like that. So, very, very cool. So, there's our optic cover. It's a nice touch, also. All right, here is the dot. So we've got the Siley Wolf X Pro. And this is a red dot. And this is also RMR footprint, which is another nice touch. There's your sides. There's your front. Your bottom. And your top. Got your controls. On this side and we've got a side load battery compartment which is awesome on this side so let's get into the dimensions on this our overall length on this 1.8 inches our width 1.1 inches and our height is the same at 1.1 inches the weight on the Siley Wolf X Pro 1.4 ounces all right, now our body on the Wolf X Pro. It is made out of 7075 T6 aluminum. It is IPX7 rated, so it is waterproof and shockproof. Now let's get into the lens on this. Our lens is a 24 by 17 millimeter lens. It is multi-coated. It is parallax free with unlimited eye relief. Now let's start getting into the good stuff. So on the back here, we do have an iron sight built into the back of the optic. And everybody that watches the channel knows that I am a big fan of this, especially if you have an optic failure. If you got a tall enough front sight, you can co-witness with that and you got a nice back up there. So that's a nice touch. 
Now the Wolf X Pro does have Shake Awake. You're looking at a 50,000 hour battery life max. So we're talking like down on the lowest setting. Now let's talk about the settings on this. We have 10 brightness levels on this. Two of those being NV. Now like I said at the beginning of the video, we do have a side load battery compartment. And this does run on a 1632 battery. The operating temp on the Siley Wolf X Pro this is rated all the way up to 140 degrees and minus 22 degrees. And guys have put these in the freezer. I've watched other reviews on Siley's and they took them out of the freezer and they still worked. One other really nice touch on the Wolf X Pro, this actually has multi-reticle system. So you're looking at a 2 MOA dot with a 26 MOA circle. Now I have cycled through these. You can run it on just a dot, the dot and the circle, or just the circle. Now I will bring that up on the screen. I'll show you what all three of these reticles look like. All right, I got the dot turned on, and I know it's going to be hard to pick this up in the camera. But right now we do have the dot and circle turned on. Now to cycle through these, if you look here on the side, you got your minus and your plus. To change the reticles, we are going to hold up on plus. And now we are just on the dot. We'll hold the plus again. It takes about three to four seconds. Now we are on just the circle. And if we want to go back to circle dot, same thing, hold the plus, and we're back on the dot and the circle. To turn it off, you just hold the minus button, takes about three seconds, and the optic is turned off. Now, if you're going to use the shake awake function, always remember to have the dot turned on. And then once you leave it set, it will shut itself off, and as soon as you tap it or grab your firearm, the dot will switch back on, and it does work. I checked that, so we are good to go on the shake awake. Now, the next thing we want to check on this is our clicks. So these are one MOA per click adjustments on the windage and elevation. One thing that I could not find online, I went to multiple sites, and I even went and watched some other reviews on YouTube. I do not know what your range of MOA is. I don't know for 40 MOA range on windage and elevation. Most of them are, but that was something I couldn't find. So let's take our flathead here, and uh, let's see what these clicks feel like. All right, it has a very faint audible click to it. You can hear it. I know the camera's not going to pick that sound up. They're nice and tight. They're not too loose, which I like. Not super tactile on the feel of the adjustments on this. But you can hear the clicks. Let's check our windage here. It is audible. I can barely hear it, but you can hear it. They don't have a real, real positive click to them, but I do like the fact of how stiff they are to turn. So I think we're going to be good on our windage and elevation. Now the best part about the Siley Wolf X Pro, it does come with a lifetime warranty. Last thing I want to talk about, this aluminum frame around the glass here, it's nice and thick. You can tell it's very well built. And the other really nice part about this is your window is recessed back in there really far. And what that's going to help for people who rack their firearm off the optic, if you look here, you got this nice kind of cutout here for your finger, pinky finger, however you charge your firearm. And the glass is back there far enough that you're not going to have to worry about when you grab it smudging up the glass on the front. So I think it's a really nice touch. I really like this design. All right, I'm going to take this, get it mounted up on the firearm, show you what it looks like. And in the next video, we will get it out to the range 
and get the review done. All right, there it is. Got the Wolf X Pro mounted up on the Beretta APX A1 Tactical. And I really like how that turned out. And yes, this gun is clear. No mag. Nothing in the chamber. Looks pretty good. Now I want to talk about the iron sights here. I can just barely co-witness my rear sight with the front. If you did not have the rear sight on here, the backup sight on the Wolf would work perfect with the front sight here on the Beretta. One other thing we didn't talk about is star bursting. Now I do have astigmatism, you guys all know that. But this actually isn't too bad. And normally on the white background here in the studio, it's pretty bad. But not with this optic. It's pretty impressive. I mean, it's super bright, which is going to be nice when we get it out to the range. So I think once we get this outdoors, we're not going to have hardly any star bursting at all. I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.